Hello everyone, this is Rookie. Welcome back to Wicked Willow. Let's continue where we last left off, shall we? Where we last left off, we're gonna load back into this one section of the game. Yeah. So let's continue on with our LGBTQ plus Pride Game Recording Celebration. Let's get started, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Alright, Axeman finally failed. And you think I somehow caused that tree to fall on him at just the right moment? I love how the cat's right there on the railing. That's cool. Now you're getting it. Let's go and see Tanya. She'll fill you in with the rest of the details. Hmm, Tanya. <laughs> Who's Tanya? Yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't want to know. I do. I can't go along with any more of this insanity. I'm just going to go get a soy latte. Is there a Starbucks in the early 90s? I was in there? Maybe. I'm not too sure. This city structure. I can't tell if this is American or European. I can't tell. Is that right? <laughs> yes. W what would you rather I do? Go back to the clinic? Tell them I'm hearing voices in my head? You want to go to the coffee shop? Fine with me. Mind if I tag along, love? Did you say love? Oh my. I can't exactly stop you, can I? I don't see any trees around here to topple on you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't do the cat like that. Sorry, she's got a nice voice. Here we are. Exactly where I thought we'd be. I just don't want him to say love again to me, or I'll blush. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willow's facial expression still kills me when she does that. We really do have the gift. What gift? I keep telling you, you got to go see Tanya. Tanya! What are you? Her little errand boy? Oh! Errand boy. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Be a big upgrade from Erin Cat, wouldn't you say? Mm. No, really. What's to you if I see her or not? She promised to help me with, uh, something. If I bring you. Huh. Okay. Help you with something. That seems a little vague. Why do I get the feeling that this cat was human? What? Do I have to tell you every little thing? Um, yeah, you've been with me this entire time, yeah. Every little thing? You've basically told me squat. <laughs> oh, let me guess. You were once a scoundrel of a man. Tanya turned you into a cat. You know what? I was thinking of that too. And she'll turn you back into a human if you help her with enough favors and learn some moral lesson. <laughs> Whoa! Tanya said you'd be powerful, but she didn't tell me you could read minds. That was a fucking joke. <laughs> that was just a mashup of every dumb fairy tale cliche. You're really in a good mood today, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is nearly getting murdered supposed to put me in a good mood? I mean, Willow has a point there. I've already told you I don't want any part of this. I just want to move on with my life. Mm. Tell Tanya I'm busy today, okay? You can tell her yourself. You're only a few feet away from her door. It's right over there. You see? The supply closet. So you want me to get in the closet and then later on come out the closet? Fine, sure. Just walk inside. Hey, you want me to go away? This is your only option. Maybe Willow does, but I personally don't want you to go away. You mean, if I do this, you promise to leave me alone? You'll let me get back to my life? Course. Fine. Whatever. 
I like how she said that line. Fine, whatever. Oh. Oh. My god. Oh my god, it's real! Either that or... Or... I really am. Look how excited Willow is. She's about to burst in excitement. That could be taken out of context, Valley. No, no, no. Not gonna go there. It's real. I don't know how, but it's real, damn it. Do you not see Tanya right here? Vilo, it is good to see you. Ooh. Tanya with a Russian accent. Mm. Uh, do I know you? Did you bring the paper? I, uh, yeah, here it is. Don't get me wrong, this is like the coolest shop ever. But how can this place be like... Shh. Oh? Oh. Hmm. Keep it secrets, are we? Fair enough. <sighs> this is awkward. <laughs> hey, don't give me that smile. That smile is killing. Good job, darling. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to stop calling me darling. You look way too good to be calling me darling. Uh, thanks. Uh, I guess. <laughs> well, are you blushing at this woman? Are you into women? Probably. For what? Will you know what you did? Hmm. But uh, I didn't. The tree just fell on its own. Oh, young one. You're here, aren't you? What more proof do you need that you have the gift? <sighs> you people keep saying that. What kind of gift? Well, though, I think you're a witch. Unlike others who can only sit and daydream, you can manifest your imagination. Mm. Uh... Oh, I already get... She only had to say those few words and I already understand the whole thing already. You can literally bring your thoughts to life. That's how you made the tree fall. Damn. I made the tree fall by thinking? That doesn't even make any sense. Why not? Because... Uh, because... Well, uh, what about science and stuff? The laws of physics? Ouch. A common fallacy. The laws of physics are descriptive, not prescriptive. Science and supernatural are not mutually exclusive. Right. I sure as hell hope she explains that one. To put it in layman's terms, yes. Magic is real. Mm. No shit. This is way too good to be true. Those with this gift have always existed. There have been many names. The one I assume you are most familiar with is... Which? Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Witches. Witches as in fairy tales? Trust me, Willow. Being one is no fairy tale. Mm. Are we like good witches, or are we? What is this? The what is this? The land of Oz? No, there ain't no good witches or bad witches. It's mostly everyone's neutral. It just depends on what moral choice you make. If they call me wicked for following my heart, then so be it. Oh. We have a duty to use our power as we see fit. Power. What? powers do I have? Aside from finding my shop and hearing Shadow speak... Oh, the cat's name is Shadow? Today you killed the man. Why is she small while saying that? But... I... Willow, don't feel bad. That man was pure evil. He was a serial killer. You had every right to take him down. I know. You didn't mean to. It was... A reflex. Honestly, that guy was a serial killer. Willow, you get a pass for me on that one. But, Willow, if you could do that, 
Without even thinking. Just imagine what you are capable of if you learn to harness that power. Consciously. And I'll be there to show you the path to your greatness. I like to walk my own path. Thanks. Oh, come on, Willow. Tanya's trying to help you out a little. Come on. So, guidance is of no value to you? Oh, guidance is the best val best kind of value. Are you kidding me? Why do you want to help me? What do you get out of it? Oh. That's a good question. That last question is a good question. What do you get out of it? Why shouldn't I desire a disciple? Oh? I mean, you could. It's just... Mm -hmm. Seems like there's got to be more to it than that. Mm. There is, indeed. Oh, let me guess. All mysteries will be revealed at a later time. In a literal sense, that is true. Mm. However, it would be more accurate to say that all mysteries will be revealed through trial and error. Oh, that's new. Hmm. Sure, whatever. So, how do these powers even work? It is difficult to explain, as well as quite time-consuming. Mm. Join me for a cup of tea, won't you? <clears throat> Man, this tea is hella nasty. <laughs> A witch's power comes from manifesting her desires. Although the manifestation can express itself differently in different witches. Try imagining something you want. I can tell you didn't like my tea. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you had that stuff? It's freaking foul. Then transmute it into anything you desire. You mean, like a Coke or something? Go tea! Turn into soda! <laughs> <laughs> now you sound silly. Mm. Uh, nothing's happening. I think you have to think with your mind, not say it out loud. Magic cannot and should not be used on a whim, Willow. Mm. That is also true. There are dire consequences on how you choose, how you use your magic too. Whether whether you use it for a good cause or a bad cause, there's still consequences. Try imagining something you really want. Try this, Willow. Flashback. Wow. What did you just? What did you just summon? Is that a pina colada? What is that? Fucking wow! This says a blue Hawaiian. Is that an alcohol drink? Hold up, I need to look that up. Hold up a second, blue Hawaiian. It's a cocktail. Oh. With rum, pineapple juice, blue, curico, sweet and sour mix, and sometimes vodka. Ooh, I need to try that drink out someday. That sounds good. I did that? I, I can do anything? No, Velo. Not anything. Taste it. Uh-oh. Is it going to taste bad? Oh. Oh, oh, this tastes fucking gross. Mm. Oh, that's worse than the tea. <laughs> There's always a price to be paid when you use magic, Willow. The more powerful the magic, the greater the cost. Mm. Therefore, you must take care not to use your powers for trivial matters. Only use it for severe emergencies is what I'm hearing. Only in dire circumstances, mm -hmm. and only for a higher purpose. Mm. A higher purpose? <laughs> no such thing. I wouldn't say that. 
I don't believe in that crap. I'm an atheist. Oh. Well, then fate will decide. Fate's not part of any religion. Fate is part of life. Religion is just a crutch for people who can't handle pain. Ooh. Ooh, that, ooh that's a burn. God, that actually hurts. Ooh. And have you had much pain in your life, Willow? Oh, damn. That seems like a personal question. Yeah, but she's got a point in that. She's got a right to ask you that. She's got a point. Indeed. I'd rather not talk about it. Mm. If you say so, Vero. Come back tomorrow. We're done for the day. Mm. So, what do you think of Tanya? Alrighty, let's save here. Alrighty, guys, that's to end my video from here, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Wicked Willow. Bye bye. Tanya was sure. Tanya sure was interesting to meet.